Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. Today in this video series, we are going to build a web application using Spring Boot and Hibernate. Yes, you heard it right. Finally, we are going to build a Spring Boot application. For this entire course, we are not going to use JPA. A JPA stands for Java Persistence API, which is a Oracle standard. Uh, it's just a specification, but there are so many implementations are there. And Hibernate is one of the most popular implementation using which we can also build a web application. But for this specific video series, we are not going to use any JPA. We are going to use a native Hibernate with a Spring Boot. And in the next video series, we are going to remove all the Hibernate. Then we will use JPA with Hibernate, which means we are going to use a JPA specific methods. So by the end of that, you will understand both the things like how to use Spring Boot with Hibernate as well as the JPA with Hibernate and you will get a better understanding. So in this video series, we are only stick to the Spring Boot and the Hibernate. So if you are following my YouTube channel from long time, then you, are, then you have already know that I have already made a separate video series on full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. The link will be given in the description section. Go ahead and check out this and you need to have a a better understanding of Spring MVC Hibernate to move on to this Spring Boot Hibernate application because I'm not going to cover any of the core concepts. So I highly recommend you to check out the courses which I have already made like Spring MVC and Hibernate then start watching these video series which is I'm going to do right now. So with that being said, let's get started. First, we need to create a Spring Boot application. So to create a Spring Boot application, go to the web browser and type start.spring.io which is a website used to create a Spring Boot application. So here I will choose uh, the Maven project with the Java. There are several options Kotlin, Groovy and Java. We'll uh, stick to the Java and the version we need to specify. I'm going to use a 2.1.1. I highly recommend you to skip the snapshots. Uh, these are all like a alpha, beta, something like that. So I recommend you to skip the snapshots so let's stick to the 2.1.1, which is the latest version. And you need to specify the group ID. Group ID is nothing but a package name. I'm going to use in dot bushan sirgur dot spring boot crud. And the artifact is nothing but a project name. I'll stick to spring boot crud api and the dependencies we have to specify the dependencies which we, which we are going to use so the first of course we need a web and the second we need a mysql because we are going to use a mysql database and we need a jpa uh, we are not going to use a jpa specific methods but we need jpa and the last is dev tools so which is used for whenever we are automatic reloading we will use a uh, dev tools so once it is uh, once you have added all the dependencies go ahead and click on the generate project uh, which will gives us the skeleton of the spring boot application so it is in my downloads directory i'll go to the downloads and i'll go to the compressed and here we have a, a skeleton application which is a spring boot crud api so i'm going to cut this and I have already created a folder in my uh, D drive wherever you can uh, uh, copy this uh, structure but I have already created a separate folder in my D drive which is Spring Boot Workspace and I'll paste it here and I'll extract this and I'm going to delete the zip folder now in my Eclipse I'm going to open that project, open projects from a file system and click on the directory and go to the computer, go to your uh, folder where you have copied that folder. In my case, it's in D drive Spring Boot workspace. Yes, this is, this is the one Spring Boot CRUD API and I'll click OK and click finish. Uh, this is take a few seconds to import the project and it will download the dependencies. Yes, once it is done, let's expand the project and you can see that this is the 
project structure for the Spring Boot application. And if you go to the GRE system library, and if you go to the Maven dependencies, you can see that all the jar files has been downloaded, the Spring Boot starter for jar files and the Spring Boot starter JSON and all the uh, Hibernate validator and everything you can see that Spring MVC, Spring MVC, Web MVC, Spring Web, Spring Web and Tomcat Embedded Core, all the necessary jars has been already downloaded. If your application giving any cross symbol like the error, then what you can do is just right click on this and go to the Maven and click on the update project. So it will update the project or it will download, re-download the jars if any of the jar file is missing. So now let's understand what we're going to build in this video series. We're going to build a REST API, which is a employee API. So the user can make a get request to list the employees and uh, the user can make a get request to fetch the single employee record and the user can make a post request to create an employee record and the user can make a put request to update the employee record and the user can make a delete request to delete the employee record so for that we are going to use a postman for testing purpose which is a it is a rest client you can use any other rest client uh, you want but the first goal is to build a rest api so in the in the upcoming videos we are going to uh, see how we can uh, uh, consume those apis using a uh, front end technologies so for this video series let's stick to how we can build a rest api using a spring boot and hibernate not with the jps specific methods so in the next video we'll start building the application step by step so let's get started